Uh, Singapore, we already have the situation. Mm -hmm. No cash. Cashless society. It's ready to go. And a cashless society is the most important facet, the most important controlling facet of this new world economic order. Remember now, we have three facets to this new world order enslaving government. We have the new world order, the political part of it. We have the new world economic order, which is the enslaving economic part of it, uh, part of it in a cashless society. And as well as that, we have the religious order, meaning the new age movement that we discussed previously. So this magazine now is a magazine published by uh, another a sub organization of the Illuminati. The Futurist is a magazine designed to condition us to their plan that is coming. And in this one particular issue, you'll notice here that there's a symbol on the front. It looks like a dollar symbol, and you may not see that it's really an electronic circuit, meaning that the new money that's coming, and they say that here, is electronic money, not paper money, not coin money, but credits and debits, electronic funds transfer in a cashless society, not just in the United States, but globally. Now, notice on one of the uh, prime uh, articles here, it talks about a cash-free society. In other words, folks, there is a plan to take the entire globe cashless, according to information I've gleaned from research. Uh, Singapore, we already have the situation. According to information. Shalom. Call Law Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High. The name is only begotten Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, the great millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, Camp Die here in Tampa, Florida. And, um, real quick, man, <clears throat> in this video, I want to go into uh, what you just seen. All right, and it's concern, concerning the central bank digital currency, CBDC, which is on, uh, which has really already been established all over the world. It's from the World Economic Forum. It says the Great Reset pushing CBDCs. All right, and what it will look like. All right, what it will look like. I'm gonna read some of this. But first, let's grab the scripture right here. This is Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. It says, "Whatsoever things are written aforetime were written for our learning." That we, through patience, which patience goes into suffering, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, right? So we get comfort, comforted through these scriptures, and that gives us hope because we know, you know, we see what's going on in the earth, you know, and, and, and it's looking very bleak. We don't know, you know, how we going to, you know, eat, how we going to dress, or, I mean, uh, work, how we going to, you know, we don't know how we going to do anything, you know? But we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because he told us this time was coming where they were going to try to, you know, bring in... You know, this new world order, you know, this, you know, this uh, a full out beast system. All right. And then ultimately bring in because this is a precursor to the M to the O to the T to the B. All right. Which is they want everybody to be implanted with technology. All right. So this this is what this leads up to. But let's read some of this. It says what can be done with CBDCs, but not with cash. It says every transaction will be known to the central bank. So you can't make any side jobs, any money. If every um, transaction is known by the central bank, that means everything is going to be taxed as well. So they're going to tax you on everything. They're going to make sure that, that they get they, they uh, you know, they money and then some. It says uh, restrictions can be imposed uh, universally or individually. Right. It can put, put restrictions on you okay which is um which means what total control okay total control this and, and then they, they want to eventually make you get this inside you know under your, your skin you know what they what they call it a uh, blockchain all right where well, they're going to know everything and they're going to have total control over your finances it says location limits can be applied 15 minute cities right so say you in a 15 minute city and you're only going to be able to use that money or like he, as, as he said debits and credits in that particular um area you know in that particular um city okay or in that particular area where you are going to be you know forced to stay in all right let me grab this too because um like i said this just means total control uh let's grab this in the, in the apocrypha it says um second ezra chapter 15 
verse uh y'all get right to the point verse 17 a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able right certain places you gotta you know if you go into a different city you know you gotta take tolls and stuff well you're not gonna be able to if you have no cash or you have no money no way to pay that toll you see that's just an example it says food purchases can be rationed by quantity or type right they can choose what kind of food you can get and what kind of food you can't get all right, I'm gonna grab scriptures as I go along with this. I ain't saying I ain't gonna make this too long, but I just thought this, I, was, I just thought this was interesting, okay? And then this is going to cause a lot of you know uproar and chaos, all right? But um, we know we 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 already know this scripture, Revelation chapter 13, because you won't be able to buy and sell without it, okay? Which is that MOTB, which this is leading up to. This is a precursor. So if if it's like this, just for the CBDC, how much more? With the MOTB, it says Revelation chapter 13, verse uh, getting right to the point, verse 16. He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a M A R K in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that hath the M A R K or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you know you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have this. And in this uh, picture right here is telling you you won't be able to buy certain things. Okay. Yeah, or it, 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 go, it goes more. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's, let's read some more. It says food purchases can be rationed by quantity or type. Uh, quant, 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 quantitative limits can be applied to anything. So, yep, restrictions, you know, um, that's uh, total control. It says expiring dates for any fraction of. Of your money can be set. Mm. I saw. I, have, I was, it was. It was an animated video I saw a while back. I tried to post it, but they didn't let me. But um, you know they, you know they got something called universal basic income, where they're gonna give you, you know, a particular amount of money a a, a a a month or something like that. You know, and pretty much may, may, may make you a slave to this system. And they said after like a certain amount of time. First of all, all all, all the money went up. You know after everything that that it was giving you was paid for and then they said after a certain period of time the money's going to expire can you imagine that can you imagine having money saved up somewhere and it just expires or you didn't spend it fast enough that's madness but that's the reality that we're coming into and it's going to be uncomfortable it says certain products can be blocked guns ammo gasoline right they're going to block you from being able to purchase these things which is taking away your freedom your so-called freedom here in america right any kind of travel requiring tickets can be restricted. Mm. So that, that 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 goes until um, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to again. It says um, uh, absolutely any transaction can be blocked uh, uh, arbitrary, ab arbitrarily. Arbitrarily, these words. But yeah, so any transaction can be blocked. So you know, if you they feel like you you know. You speaking too much or you're speaking against their system this is going on in china right now where you have a social credit system if you speak up against that government hey they're going to block you from being able to make transactions okay taxes and fines can be can just be taken and i want to say this yesterday about tax taxation and stuff you know you know may make you pay all these taxes and stuff well with, with, with a cbdc and ultimately the motb taxation um is taxes the fines can just be taken. You know, they can just take take it out of your account. All right. We're going to see this in our lifetime. It says you can be kept out of the stock market. Mm. If you don't have CBDC, you can't buy or sit and sell anything. So, look, if you don't have this, this money, you know, this digital dollar, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell anything, man. You know, they're going to pretty much own you. They're going to own you. They're going to have you. This is, um digital slavery as some people call it it says if you don't have cbdc you can't buy or and sell anything most likely barter will be made illegal right so you people try to try to barter give something to get something it's going to be illegal it says this is the ultimate fascist power grab giving them more power and control than in 1948 right so this that's what it is the power grab and you had that guy um it was Alex Jones and I forgot the guy's name. He was on the on the what's name with and he said total control, you know, total control. All right. Or Aaron Russo. Yeah, he said total control. 
All right, so let's grab a few more scriptures real quick before we go. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse one. I will climb up upon. I will climb up on to my watchtower, and stand at my, at my guard post. Meaning we on we 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 on watch, man. Okay, and it's like and that's in the NLT. We on watch. You watching for these prophecies? Okay, it says there. I will wait to see what the Lord says and how He will answer my complaint. And we're constantly complaining. Okay. We're constantly complaining about this place when we do these videos and these shows and send prayers up where we, we are complaining against, you know, our oppressors. It says, then the Lord said it to me, write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. Right. So, you know, the message, you know, these prophecies were given to you plainly. It's not difficult. It's ain't hard to understand unless you either sold out or you, 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 you it's just not for you. It says the vision is for a future time, which we are in a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. So this vision, you know, that, that we um are seeing of this world of CBDCs and all this other stuff, it, it, it was for a future time. OK, and now here we are in this future time. You got self-driving cars, you got electric vehicles, you got, you know, Hey, we, we, we're in the future, okay? You know, it says, um, look at the proud they trust in themselves, and their their lives are crooked, but the righteous will live by their faithfulness to the Most High, right? So we're going to have to trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai. It says the righteous shall live by their faith in the Most High, which most people don't have faith in the Most High, okay? So I can go back to this. Oh, they took it. That's all right. That's all right. Most most people don't have don't don't have faith in the Most High, man. Most people are bugged the hell out, you know. Especially these wicked these wicked people. All right. It says um. It says uh. Let me go, let, let me grab this in the KJV. So lucky. This is um. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 5 it says yeah also because he transgresseth by wine he is a proud man neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell and that's what these devils are doing they're they're enlarging their desire they want everybody they already own you and got you but you know not not they want to you know put m more restrictions on you you see it says who does who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. And that's what you want. You want everybody to be tagged. Okay. He want everybody to be tagged. So that's what he's doing. All right. And now, now, now let's go here. Let's go to Revelation. Let's go to Revelation. Uh, Revelation. 3 and 10. Let's go to Revelation 3 and 10. It says, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. It says, in the NLT, because thou, because you have obeyed my command to persevere. And that's what we're doing, persevering. You know, through all the hell we catch, all the bullshit. You know, our jobs, our, our, our you know, our responsibilities on this side. We're persevering to keep the faith and also serve your whole body. You know, shot with faith and works. You know, you, you shall be saved. It says, uh, I will protect you from the great time of testing and we're all about to be tested the great time of testing the hour of temptation is coming where everybody's going to be tested with because this is going to come out first and we, and we might have to submit to this a, a, a little bit but then then right after that it was hey well yeah you know we want you guys to put it under your skin and we're not we, we're not bad we, we're not doing that shit man through the spirit of your whole shy so we you know we 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 we, we we're gonna be outcasted you know we're going to be outcasted from society. We ain't going to be able to, to, to go to the grocery store and go to work and pay bills anymore. You want to register a car. You want to uh, anything. Okay. And everything that, that we do here is going to be off limits. It says. I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. Right. And this is going to be a test. Okay, well, most people are going to fail this test. Okay, the Lord said, when he comes, shall he find faith on earth? A lot of people are going to lose faith because they're going to be hungry. They're going to say, oh, man, you know, like, like I always say, it's easy to, to be a prophet now. It's easy to, to go out there and put on, you know, put, 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 put on the garment and 
carry your Bible, which a lot of guys really don't even don't even want to do do uh, that. But but this is the easy part. How much more when you're being persecuted? How much more when when, when, when you're demonized? How much more when, when when you're you know when you ain't eight? All right. So then then we shall know who who the chosen of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai are in these last days, man. And we pray that we are a part of them. We pray the Lord keep the spirit upon us. Cause everybody, you know, for for you to jump up and say, "Oh, I know, I know," you don't know nothing, man. The Lord, Lord can put have you in a trick bag, and bug your ass out tomorrow. That's why you gotta remain humble. Humility is key. The meek shall inherit the earth. It says, uh, "I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, so that no one will take away your crown." And you got guys throwing away their crown. You got guys allowing their crown to get taken. You know, just bugging the hell out. Nah, man, hold on to your crown. You know, trusting your whole Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, trusting your whole Bashim Yahweh Shai. And no matter what, do not do not take this garbage. All right? No matter what, do not take it, man. We know most pe people will and, and are going to take it. But for the elect, they're not going to take it. Let me grab that, too. Um, and I'll close out with that. I don't want to make this too long. I, I had this... This video queued up for a minute though, but I had some problems with uh, YouTube, so I figured I'll wait. So, do a spirit hell by Shemar Shah. I was able to bring it out today. I pray it's been edifying to the elect. Let's go to Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 22. And we'll close out with this because you should get the picture by now, and if you don't, then you're not meant to, anyways. It says. Um, Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened and the Lord is speeding up these times and shortening these days for the elect's sake you see let's go into the NLT and read it it says in the NLT Matthew 24 verse 21 for there will be greater anguish than at any time since the world began. We're coming into greater anguish, hell, tribulation, you know, chaos, you know, um, woes. It says, and it will be, and it will never be so great again. So this is the climax of all, you know, <laughs> um, this is this is this is the, the climax of all creation. Okay, the climax of uh, uh, is, is, is this time where. We're coming into it's going to be worse than any time ever in history. It says, in fact, unless that time of, sh of calamity is shortened, not a single person will survive. So the Lord got to sh 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 go speed up the times because we're not going to be able to eat. You remember, you're not going to be able to buy or sell without this. So the Lord going to speed up the times. It says not a single person will survive, but it will be shortened for the sake of the most high's chosen ones. And even the people that do take it, the script talk about those that um that 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 that, that you know. Uh, submit shall be had in in, in, in derision so they're gonna die okay but those that, that don't take it you know hey we gonna need the lord you know scripture says we're gonna be we're gonna be, we're gonna be stayed upon him we shall no more be stayed upon him that smote us but we're gonna trust in the holy one of israel so lord the lord got us man all right the lord got us but I, we got to bring these videos out to warn you and let you know what's coming down the pike man you know this could be you know all hell can break loose with these elections and they can bring this out. Dollar crash. They bring this out. Okay, CBDC. You know, now everybody in a uh, situation where you got to, you know, take, you got to bat on to this B system to a, to a degree. But whatever you do, do not take that karagma. Don't let them put nothing in your body, man. Whatever I said, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm coming. Shalom. Baba Bar. Praise the Lord. Shalom.